video. This video is going to be about making a fox for a, a wooden stretcher for, for drying cloths. So I'm going to be covering a couple different things in this video. I'm just going to discuss briefly the type of wood I'm using. I got some free basswood from a buddy of mine named Ron and I'm just going to give this a whirl and compare this to uh, wire stretchers. I'm also going to cover uh, the dimensions of the board. The board dimensions I got came straight off of NAFA's website. Uh, you can look them up there for yourself or you can just follow what I got going on here. Uh, the board I have is actually 42 inches long and for free I can't be choosy. It'd be better if it was about 48, probably 54 inches long or so to pin the tail down. But it, it is what it is for me right now. I got it for nothing so I'm going to do the best I can with what I got. So like I said the board, if your board could be a little bit longer if you're going to try this I would suggest a little bit longer board. Alright, so let's check out some of the dimensions here. Okay, so for the dimensions of the board, uh, my board, this board is about 8 inches wide this way and about 42 inches long. Rotate here a little bit, and if we look here, I wrote down all the measurements as I went down and, and marked my board off. First thing I did was I put a center line right down the middle of my board, then I measured equidistant off of each, each direction here. These measurements on the left are the left and right measurements. The measures on, measurements on the right are measuring straight down from the board coming this way. So if you want to work this out for yourself, at two and a quarter inches down, it should be two and a half inches wide. At three and a half inches down, it should be three inches wide. At six inches down, it should be four inches wide. At nine inches down, it should be five inches wide. At 14 inches down, it should be 6 inches wide. 18 inches down, 6 and a half inches wide. And on down the board, at 7 inches, 7 inches wide at 35 inches down from the tip of the board. And like I said, this will be plenty long enough to stretch the fox out on. I just wish it was a little longer for pinning the tail down. Now I'm going to take, uh, what I did was I took a stretcher. A, a wire stretcher to mark this curved part in the end and then I just took a straight edge and kept connecting these dots on the way down here and I'm pretty confident I can cut 99% of this out on a table saw just nice and slow and then I'll probably just take a belt sander and belt sand that round this is basswood it's plain to about I think it's 3 eighths I had my buddy plant it down to so if I can get my hand, if this works out good, if I get my hand on some more, I'll be making some more stretchers. Alright, so I'm going to head to the table saw. Okay, i got my table saw set up here. If everything goes as planned, I'll be able to just run this through here, cut along the outside line here. Might cut it slightly big and just be able to, so I can belt sand it. And I'll also take a belt sander and round the edges off a little bit once I'm done with that. And I hope I've never videoed a power tool running. Hope this doesn't get crazy loud. Okay, so here's my finished product. Uh, 
not like bragging up my own work or anything, but it turned out pretty pretty decent for a first shot. Uh, basically, I took uh, my rough cut after the table saw. I cut that video off a little bit. You didn't want to watch all that and some belt sanding. At least I hope not. So basically, I finished cutting that out the best I could with the table saw. Left a little bit of line on there. I sanded it down with a with the uh, belt sander and rounded off the edge with the with the belt sander. I mean the point here. Uh, the tip I just I just took a wire stretcher and and marked off the tip to make it round looking. So uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Hopefully in a few months I'll get to show you putting a nice little gray fox on this board. I have another hunk of basswood here. I might take this and and might be putting the cart before the horse, but turning this into a fisher stretcher. If you watch my videos from last year, I got a I got a male fisher that I'm going to be after. So maybe I'll get lucky and have him on that board. Uh, the next video I'm going to make probably after I get uh, this posted up will be trying to convert a wire stretcher and putting a skirt board at the bottom of it. So thanks for tuning into this one. Hope to see you next time.